Welcome back to Texas Wildlife. Today we observe the white male politician in one of his natural habitats, the local grocer. Let's go. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton has just finished picking up his pharmaceuticals from the counter. He's also decided to, ah, pick up some brewskis and chips for the game later. Oh, and I see that now he's accumulated more than 16 items. Hmm. Witness a moment of indecision as he approaches the express lane, which clearly reads 15 items or less. Ah, well that was a bit of a cock up, wasn't it? Later that same day, we returned to our test subject who has just finished traversing the dangerous stretches of I-35 to return to his nesting site in McKinney. Ah, now we see his mate, a striking blonde, and their four blonde children greet him at the door. After their delicious family dinner, we see our bloated buck observe the dishes stack up in the kitchen sink. Will he give his mate a break? Or will he rely on the same antiquated household dynamics his parents passed down before him? I'm just so tired. You should have seen all the other drivers I locked horns with on the way home. Plus, Angela's already on a roll for making dinner. I'm sure it's not too much extra for her to take care of dishes. She, she's a state senator and a pistol-packing mama. After all, she can handle a few more spinning plates. Nurtures her nature. Crikey, no evolution today, folks. Let's take a look at that again in the slow-mo cam. As a wildlife explorer, I've seen a lot of gore, but that was hard to handle. Let's fast forward and take a look at our little buddy at one of his proudest moments, marking his territory in front of his peers. Notice how he is wearing his finest plumage today. A Brooks Brothers suit, finely shellacked hair, his shoulder pads puffed up, and two inch lifts in his shoes to create the illusion of size to intimidate his peers. The only thing left is a loud and deep screech to command the attention of the crowd. Let's listen for it. Taxes and voter fraud. The two most important issues facing our great state today, and that is why I will not let Democrats get away with giving vote by mail privileges to those who don't need it. Sir, Texas Tribune reports you yourself used vote by mail privileges in a 2011 municipal election, despite not being over 65, disabled, or in jail. Ooh. Watch as it flares its nostrils, presumably detecting prey downwind. Ah, fortunately for today, it's only a juvenile legislative aid, not worth engaging in head to head combat. I believe if we keep government out of it, our communities take care of themselves. Let those Texas values shine. Let that little old lady in the grocery store ahead of you in line. Give your pistol packing mama a break and help her out with the dinner plates. I believe we're all at our best when no one's watching us. Bloody hell! Well, isn't that a piece of piss? Wow. A truly impressive evasive maneuver only an experienced pack leader could have accomplished. Oh, we are starting to see how he dodged all those felony fraud charges the past five years. By the way, sir, you're scheduled to be at the lake house during early voting. Um, get me a ballot. Oh, blimey, really? He's part of the trail, Harry! Quick, quick! Get in the drone! Alright, join us next week when we observe the nuanced mating rituals of the orange-breasted West Campus frat boy. Come on! Oh. 
This has been Kim Outback Steakhouse of Texas Wildlife signing off. Keep it crikey, America. Let's get out of here.